Hey welcome, guys, welcome back, back to, to the our channel. channel, guys. So I don't know our last was our last video a grocery haul. Was it the grocery haul? Our last video was a grocery haul, but in that video we showed you guys all the stuff we got for meal prep. We talked about it briefly. And since we got all the stuff for meal prep and we've meal prepped, we want to tell you guys what we meal prepped, how we've been feeling, um, if we've been noticing a difference. Yeah. Um, so we made three meals. Well, I made three meals. You helped. Yeah. Uh, but we did veggie pasta carbonara mm -hmm. with green beans. We did protein pasta with asparagus and Cajun chicken pasta. Mm -hmm. And uh, protein pasta with Tuscan chicken. Mm -hmm. And the chicken, the Tuscan chicken is really heavy on chicken. So it's, mm -hmm. um, that's good. But they're all high protein um and low calorie and they're very filling so i'm gonna talk about my favorite my favorite is probably the cajun pasta yes it is a very good one um and i know they're all pastas but they're healthy pastas um if you look at mm -hmm. the sugar and the um, protein and carbs and sugars which i just said um they're actually not terrible for you and then we also have them pre-portioned into our container so once we're done eating this it's like you don't get any more which is really helpful because we before we started meal prepping i'd say we almost overate probably because yeah. we weren't aware of portion sizes and we'd be like oh we're still hungry but we wouldn't let the um our bodies catch up to our brains of us saying hey we're not hungry anymore mm -hmm. because we would just eat really, really fast, and then we'd get more. But this is my favorite. How do you like this one? Yeah, it is a very good one. Um, very spicy. I will definitely cut down on the amount of Cajun seasoning yeah. and spiciness next time we make it, because this is a this is a make again. Yeah, it's it's one of my favorite ones, if not my favorite one. It's this either is this one, one or the. Um, carbonara, pasta carbonara. And the carbonara, careful. There's like there's juice there in this go. one. Um, this, with the green beans. Yeah, we made green beans. This one I meant to make corn with, but we, I for some reason, didn't. I think because it made so much. I think because it made too much. This is two cups of pasta in here, mm -hmm. which may seem like a lot, but the serving size was roughly two cups. One or two, yeah. One or two cups. It might have been one plus veggies, but two, yeah. yeah. But this one is really, really good. The pasta carbonara is another one of our favorites. Mm -hmm. Um, this pasta, we used a veggie pasta. Quincy's getting talked to because he keeps barking it. Now look, you'll see that there's this window, a little like half window right here, um, right next to the door. And the blinds don't go all the way down. And it's just at his level that he, he can look out and see people. But there aren't people out there. He just sees his reflection and... And he sees, oh, there's another dog looking at me. I'm going to bark at that dog. But it's, but it's him. So, which is weird. This has been a new thing as of like this is a new three, occurrence. two, three days ago. And you know what ago. I think it is? I think it's because the black trash can mm -hmm. for your trash is right outside the window. But that's the only place we can put it so that they actually pick up the trash. Yeah, it, I don't know. It's weird. No, back to this. Yeah. Go. Um, this uses a veggie pasta. I think it was the brand Barrel. Yes. Um, it's a, their veggie pasta, which we haven't been able to find a whole lot of places. We really, we really only, haven't looked at also. We've really only been able to find it at Walmart and maybe Target. Mm -hmm. um, so it's still on the newer side, I feel like. But it has a full serving of vegetables in your serving of pasta. So I think it had like spinach, peas mm -hmm. maybe in it. Something like that. Um, yeah. it, had, it was heavily on greens. But what I really like about um, these pastas are you can't tell that this is a veggie pasta. Like Same with the protein with pasta. With the protein too. pasta too. Because I know I used to eat gluten-free pasta and you could tell that something was off about it. Like mm -hmm. it wasn't um, you know, like al dente or like soft noodles. It was like crunchy almost. Mm -hmm. And with this, I haven't had that issue. Have Not you? At all. No, it's yeah, it's definitely um, interesting to see that it's just the same, but healthy and better for mm -hmm. you. And like you would expect like a cream sauce, but cause this is a creamy Cajun, yeah. you would expect the sauce to be like 
heavy cream, sour cream, but it's Greek yogurt, and um, it's very good. Like, I had you try it when I made it. It was very good, And too. he's like, how is this healthy? Like, yeah. it doesn't taste healthy. It literally tastes like a normal meal, mm -hmm. and then we'll talk about that in a minute, how eating healthy and delicious doesn't have to be yeah it really is bad <laughs> but this one is not our favorite i don't it's not. i don't think i'd make it again if i did i would add a lot less chicken and here's the funny thing about this one i even halved the amount of chicken mm -hmm. in this one that it called for it called for four chicken breasts and i put two chicken breasts and it was still a lot mm -hmm. but this is a what is this one a tuscan pasta. chicken um pasta which is honestly the, the flavor is good. See, I disagree. I feel like there's hardly any flavor. I feel like I'm eating noodles and chicken, and that's it. Which, yes, that's it. However, there's no, like, there's that's Italian seasoning. There's, there's seasoning in there. You just don't really taste that seasoning. So, yeah. to me, I'm just like, there's not a whole lot to it. So, this one, I don't think we'd make again. It's I, very bland, I guess, um, is the word I'm looking the for. The other bland. two we would make. Now... Next week, I'm making a um, chicken a dish. Hot, hot it's um, hot. chicken with, like, black beans over a bed of yellow yeah. rice. Yes. So it's a healthier one. But, yeah, we're going to talk about um, how eating healthy is not all that bad because yeah. these are such good meals. And I know, like, when I first thought of meal prep, I thought of, oh, the food isn't good, like it's all healthy food, like you're not gonna get your pastas mm -hmm. in, you're not gonna get the creaminess of um, stuff that you actually like enjoy. Cause mm -hmm. like, I'm a big sucker for like, I like creamy pastas mm -hmm. and those aren't very healthy. Like I could find a recipe of creamy, healthy Alfredo that uses Greek yogurt, mm -hmm. like, Easily. Easily. So, I think I'm going to find that because we both like creamy pastas. Mm -hmm, definitely. But my uh, interpretation before we started like eating healthy was that I wouldn't be able to eat foods I like, mm -hmm. that I wouldn't be full, that I'd eat my meal and then 20 minutes later want something else. But there's some days where I can't even finish the meal prepped mm -hmm. container. Easily, yeah. Ooh, a I just dripped a little bit of water. Um... Yeah, there's days I can't even finish that. And I notice that I feel fuller faster. Yeah, definitely. Um, I've been, we've only been doing this for a little less than a week. Yeah, and about I already, half a week. I already feel like I have more energy. Yeah. I've been sleeping better at night. I feel better. I don't feel as like weighed down. Um, now, I don't know if that's <laughs> true yet because I haven't. Um, stepped on the scale and compared numbers from before I started meal prepping yeah. but overall I feel better my face isn't as broken out because I am not eating as much sugar mm -hmm. um, we went when we went to Aldi we got all those good snacks and stuff so I got like meat and cheese sticks and um, for breakfast I'll eat like a meat stick and some pistachios mm -hmm. and um, or even like half a bagel and some pistachios so that I'm getting those carbs, but also I'm getting protein. And then around lunchtime, I'll either eat one of these meals or I'll do turkey and cheese roll-ups because yeah. those are easier and healthy. Um, and then at dinner, I will do um, another meal prep container and then for either a snack or dessert at some point. I have like a hundred calorie pack snack cookies mm -hmm. that um, they're like the fit and active brand um, or a fiber bar. So not too, too bad. No, I feel like I haven't been snacking as much. Mm -hmm. Now I have been snacking at work because we've been moving our office and everything. So I've been trying to get a little more calories in. Excuse me, the line. What would you say? How are you feeling since we started meal prepping? I don't feel a whole lot different, honestly. Because I, I, I didn't start eating the meals. I had leftovers from when... Yeah, he finished up started. all of our other leftovers yeah, first. Yeah, so I started eating the uh, meal prep, prep whatever, meals. Yesterday. Meal prepped meals a few days later than she did. 
um, just, just a few days ago, actually. He said he would finish up all the leftovers so that I could start getting on track. That way it didn't go to waste. Um, so, yeah. But other than that, it, no, it's good. The food is very good, and it's easy. Yeah. We just throw in the microwave for two, three minutes, and then there's dinner, and that's it. I like it which especially. Is also nice. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. I like it especially because I get home from work. I get off work at 7, and then I'm usually back here around 7.15, 7 7.30. And mm -hmm. honestly, some days I'm just like, I don't want to put something on the stove and make something. And so having these ready to go in the fridge with a bottle of flavored water no, <laughs> is just so, it. so easy. Pop it in the microwave. Um, usually I'll come home, sit on the couch, and... He's like, hey, what do you want? Like, which one? He'll throw it in the microwave for me. Yeah. Bring it over. Since it's so easy, I literally just throw it in the microwave. It saves us time. It saves us. It will say the actual prep of all the food takes the most work because it's the most dishes. But then after that, it's just in these black dishes, which these um, was a pack of 15, 15 meal prep containers for $10 at Walmart. Yes. And they were... Great deal. Great deal. They're they're not super flimsy. No, I feel like they're good quality for. They're good quality. Like when yeah, when these start falling like apart and getting gross, we will buy new ones. They're dishwasher safe on the top uh, rack. Yeah, I was just gonna look for a brand. I don't remember what brand. It was the Walmart brand. Was it Great Value Walmart brand? Well, it's not the Great Value Walmart brand, but it's like their container. Oh right, because Great container. Value is their food, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. But. I'd say overall, we are very happy with how meal prep's been going. Yeah. Um, Definitely. It, I do want to do, like, a veggie saute one week mm -hmm. um, with, like, veggies and uh, baby potatoes. Because um, I think that I think that'd be really good. Yeah. Because I know these are all pasta, but I'm like, there's some days where I don't, I just don't want to eat a pasta dish. And I don't think I realized that I made all the pasta ones until after I made them. Yeah. I don't know. It's but, good, yeah, though. the two that will be remade will be the pasta carbonara because it is so good. Yes. And then the Cajun. Yeah, they're by far the Those favorites. Those are the top two. But no, we also I'll, haven't tried the yellow rice Yeah, one. I was going to say, I'll be interested and excited to try the uh, yellow rice chicken. Mm-hmm. Whatever it is. It's like an avocado salsa verde chicken yeah, over something. a bed of yellow Spanish rice. Yeah. So, I think that is all for this video. Much it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye, Bye guys. guys.